Welcome back to part three of our free software series. With all of the bad software out there, I like to give credit to those creating software the right way. So in addition to the software mentioned in the first two videos, I've come up with another five programs that are actually great. They are powerful and free of viruses and malware. And to qualify for this list, these free of cost programs must fall into the categories of either free software, freeware, freemium, or free and open source. All of the software I show you today is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems, and they're not really in any particular order. So let's get started. Number one, Handbrake. This is a free and open source transcoder for video files. Handbrake was originally developed for ripping a film from a DVD to your computer or other storage device easier. Now you can just compress just about any large video file, including those from Blu-ray sources, into a smaller format. This is also useful for working with abnormal video types to convert to a standard that is more recognized. I'll quickly show you the basics on how to use Handbrake. When you first open up Handbrake, you'll want to select Open Source in the upper left-hand corner. You have the option to select several files from a folder or select a single video file. I'll select Single Video File. Next, you'll want to select the destination for your converted file when it's finished. So select Browse. You have the option for MP4 or MKV. I'm going to leave it as MP4 for this one. And below that, you have several options, including Picture, Filters, Video, Audio, Subtitles, and Chapters. I generally leave all these settings the same unless I'm working with a Blu-ray file. You also have presets here in the right column, which you can change to suit your needs. When you're ready to start the conversion process, just select Start Encode. Here at the bottom, it shows you the status of your conversion. The conversion process can take a while to finish, so you'll need to exercise patience when using this software. Handbrake also offers extensive documentation for Windows, Mac, and Linux users to get you more familiar with it. Number two, Scribus. This is a great alternative to Adobe InDesign for desktop publishing. It is completely free and has everything you need for fantastic looking print ready documents. Individuals and companies use Scribus for creating their own magazines, posters, newsletters, and other types of documents. It includes professional color management and typesetting. In fact, if you didn't know any better, you would think you were using expensive software when using Scribus. Some also use this program as an alternative to Adobe Acrobat for creating interactive forms and PDFs. The only real issue with Scribus is that you can't edit or save the files of its competitor's software. Other than that, it is great publishing software for your computer. This is what Scribus looks like when you first open it up. You're presented with several options for a new document, or you could choose from New From Template, Open Existing Document, or Open Recent Document. Scribus is not the easiest of software to learn how to use. They do have an extensive tutorial to get you started, and there are several videos on YouTube to also assist you. They also offer several options for downloading the software to your computer. So if you want to avoid giving Adobe more money, give Scribus a try. Number three, Steam. If you're a PC gamer, then it is highly likely that you're familiar with Steam. Steam was originally developed as a means to download patches for Counter-Strike and other titles. Now it's evolved into a huge store with a deep game catalog with older and newer releases. The Steam client is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux machines. When you launch Steam, you're greeted with the store page with featured and recommended games, along with more recommendations as you scroll down the page. Even though the Steam software is free, the games are not. They do offer free-to-play games, but as most of you know, they should be called pay-to-win games. When you select Library, it shows you all of the games you have purchased, and Steam does a pretty good job of keeping those games updated and patched. Another great feature of Steam is the very useful Big Picture mode. This mode works great if you have your PC connected to your TV to be able to navigate using your game controller. 
They do offer huge sales several times a year where you can load up on a bunch of games with huge discounts. The next big sale, entitled the Steam Summer Sale, is expected sometime in June if we use last year as a guide. Although it has plenty of competition now, the game store on Steam is still the best. Number four, Sublime Text. If you're familiar with brackets, Sublime Text is another text editor for use when coding, and it's definitely a step up from Notepad++. What I like about Sublime is that it has a great looking user interface. Some of the key features include simultaneous editing to multiple selected areas, there are 22 visual themes, and there are customizable key bindings which allows users to assign hotkeys. The dark background gives the text a nice contrast. The minimap in the right column gives a good indication for where you are in the text editor. As many of you know, it can be easy to get lost when dealing with thousands of lines of code. It will also auto-save your work, which is useful if your computer crashes or you lose power. Whether you use this on Windows, Linux, or Mac, the interface looks the same. One downside with Sublime Text is it will nag you to purchase a license for $70. You can just ignore those, and you can continue to use it for free without losing your work. If you're a programmer that likes to work within a text editor environment, you may want to check out Sublime Text. Number five, Inkscape. Last but not least, this free and open source software is a professional level vector graphics tool that offers a lot of the same features as the expensive graphics editors on the market. Inkscape has a ton of features for object creation and manipulation. You can create and edit compliant SVG formatted files and allows for exporting into PNG and other formats. Their gallery of user created content is amazing if you would like to see what other creators have made. When you open up Inkscape, you'll see the toolbars are to the left and right of the working environment and the user layout doesn't take that much time to figure out. When you're new to using the software, I recommend you check out their written and video tutorials, which can be found on their site. If you're looking for a free professional quality vector graphics tool, Inkscape just may be what you're looking for. That concludes this list. All links are in the description of this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of this free software and what programs you think are great that you would like to see in future videos. Give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, click on that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest software and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.